it's still going. Trains are long, it turns out. Sometimes trains are like really long and they take a while to go by. Trains, long, loud, annoying. Trains, long, loud, annoying. Trains, long, loud, annoying. Oh my God, I'm sorry. It's finally done. The train has passed. It's gone on to fulfill its mission. Anyway, all right. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Books, 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 the JCAM Library's book recommendation show. I'm Jocelyn Codner, the Reference and Outreach Librarian, and before we get going today, I do have a couple housekeeping items to impart to you. First is the library is currently operating under our summer hours, which went into effect Monday, April 25th, and will remain in effect until the beginning of the fall term. These hours aren't drastically different from what we normally have, they're just decreased a little bit because it's the summer. If you're interested in seeing a full day-by-day -day calendar of library hours and when we're closed or open for different holidays, there is a link in the description that will take you to just such a calendar. If you find yourself needing a quiet place to study or access to printers and computers when the library is closed, you still always have the option to access the 24 seven space using your Chatham ID. That never changes. You always have access to that space if you have a Chatham ID. Speaking of Chatham IDs, my second bit of housekeeping is that you no longer need to show your Chatham ID at the main desk when you enter the library. Guests also no longer need to sign in or be accompanied by a Chatham community member. Okay, done with all that. In this episode of books, I thought I would highlight a resource of ours that I don't think a whole lot of people know about, and that would be our huge collection of fiction ebooks. We have hundreds of thousands of ebooks, and I feel like they could use a little bit more love. So today I'm going to go through just like a handful of ebooks that you can access right now to read through the JKM library that I think are fun books, books I've read, um, bestsellers, really like impressive titles that people just like don't know that we have. <laughs> so this is officially the announcement. We have cool ebooks. I think it's important for me to mention that we also have a lot more than just fiction ebooks. We also have fiction, we've got memoir, biography, there's poetry as well. We've got picture books, we've got books for middle grade, juvenile, YA readers. We also might have ebooks that you might need for class. So when you're investigating how to get a hold of your course texts cheaply, make sure to just do a quick title search in our ebook tab on the homepage. You never know until you look. All right, the first ebook that I'm going to highlight today, it gives me great joy that we have this. It is The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by local author Disha Filia. We have this book in a paper copy as well, but it makes me extremely happy that we have an ebook so that folks who are not physically on campus still get the opportunity to read this incredible short story collection. The Secret Lives of Church Ladies by Disha Filia is a collection of short stories. Um, like I mentioned before, Disha is a Pittsburgh author and these stories focus on Black women's experiences religion, community, and a ton more. This collection was greatly celebrated and was a finalist for the National Book Award for Fiction. The Secret Lives of Church Ladies should definitely be on your TBR for this summer. If you like things a little bit more thrilling and dangerous, I recommend The Aosawa Murders by Riko Onda, translated from the Japanese by Allison Weiss. This is a murder mystery thriller set in Japan, and it centers on a crime that took place in the 1960s when 17 people die at a party by what appears to be cyanide poisoning. The only survivor is a young daughter of the person throwing the party, Hisako, who is watched. While Hisako is not the primary suspect in the murders, the police, the town, former childhood best friend who wrote a book about the murders all think she has something to do with it. Years later, the truth is revealed. This story is told through multiple perspectives and jumps around a bit in timeline, making it a pretty interesting narrative structure. So if that sounds intriguing to you, I definitely recommend you check out the Aosawa murders for your summer TBR. These next two are for those of you who like it a little weird. My first recommendation is The Tiger Flu by Larissa Lay. The Tiger Flu crosses many genres, science fiction, fantasy, speculative fiction, cyberpunk, and it has LGBTQ elements as well. It offers a lot. I'm just going to read a bit about the synopsis because I can't describe it otherwise. 
quote, a community of parthenogenic women sent into exile by the male-dominated saltwater city goes to war against disease, technology, and powerful men that threaten them with extinction. So as you can see, there's quite a lot happening there. But if you like genre fiction and you're up for a bit of a ride, definitely check out The Tiger Flu by Larissa Lay. My next funky pick is Temporary by Hilary Leichter. I love the cover of this book, it's really strange. Temporary by Hilary Leichter is an absurdist work of magical realism and speculative fiction that is just absolutely a fun romp of a read. We follow a young woman as she fills strange work placements as a temp. Placements like working on a pirate ship, assisting an assassin, or shining a huge closet's worth of shoes. This is a funny book about finding yourself and battling existential dread, and you can access it as an ebook through the JCAM library today. But I know it's the summertime, and maybe you don't want your brain to work that hard. Maybe you don't want to dabble in absurdism or satire or read about tragedies or murders. Maybe you want romance. Well, don't worry, I have you covered. We absolutely have plenty of romance for you to choose from. My first recommendation is My Greek Island Summer by Mandy Baggett. This is your pretty typical rom-com. Woman gets dumped, woman takes low stakes dream job in an exotic and luxurious locale. Woman is thrown together with a super hottie due to a slight annoyance. Woman is not enthused with super hot dude until he keeps showing up and she realizes she cannot resist him. This is a classic romance plot and it absolutely makes for a wonderful vacation read. That's My Greek Island Summer by Mandy Beck. Now, we're here for a good time, right? We're adults. We're here to have fun. We're here to keep our options open. Maybe we're here for some erotica. If that's you, then I highly suggest you take a look at Coming Third by Amber Cow. Who wouldn't want to dive into a menage a trois shapeshifter gay erotica in the summertime, right? I mean, come on. Well, here it is. A fast-paced novella with all those things that will surely entertain. This book has like a wild plot. <laughs> if you enjoy reading like urban fantasy erotica, it won't be that strange to you, but it basically follows like this prince who has high expectations put on him by his family and he's not interested in those high expectations. So his version of finding himself in rebelling is hooking up with a pair of shapeshifters who shift into like big jungle cats and, um, and they have a really steamy relationship. Truly a lot of fun. I'm gonna stop there because that's a lot of books, but if you're interested in more ebook recommendations, you can follow the link in our description that will take you to a blog post with more of an extensive ebook roundup. There's so many great options on that list to pick from, including a title that was recently adapted into a TV show on Hulu. We're gonna be doing more of these ebook roundups on our blog, so keep your eyes there for more lists, more recommendations, because we think that our ebooks deserve a bit more attention. And that's all for this episode of Books, 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 Books. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check the description for all those important links. You can find the JKM Library on Instagram at JKM Library and on Facebook at Chatham's Jenny K. Mellon Library. Don't forget to subscribe to our e-newsletter, The Page Turner, for all up-to-date information from the library and the university archives. Once again, I'm Jocelyn. Reminding you that if you ever have any kind of question at all, even if it's about a menage a trois with a couple of shapeshifters, you can always ask a librarian. Truly, don't be embarrassed. I hope you get to enjoy the nice weather coming our way and you are able to rest. Happy reading.